Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, for giving me this opportunity and my colleagues to listen to me. The, the different thing I have is that the fundamentals. Okay, the fundamentals have not been addressed. Uh, Dino spoke about something that at the price of 140 we pay subsidy. At the price of 40, we still pay subsidies so that there is something fundamentally wrong with the value of our Naira. Because if the value of the Naira is addressed, we should be able to have a better way to manage our economy. One way of doing that, sir, if you look at us, all of us here, the, the, the foreign contents that we wear is higher than the local contents that we wear. <laughs> so long as our foreign test for foreign commodities is not addressed in a realistic manner, we will continue to have a lopsided exchange rate and that will continue to affect our subsidies. Uh, Mr. President, sir, the second thing I want to address is there is a glut of about one billion barrels of crude oil before even uh, Iran, Iran comes in. Therefore, the price of crude oil will continue to fall, and I don't think it is realistic to talk about 38. We shouldn't talk we shouldn't pick a figure that we will soon find it very difficult to sustain. So I think probably thirty uh, dollars per barrel is more realistic. Because if this thing will fall to twenty, then uh, I don't see how realistic will thirty eight dollars per barrel will be. Uh, how do we do that? I talk about a country where the poor is subsidizing the rich. This is fundamental. Uh, our own pension for luxuries will have to address it. The luxury items we import into this country, we have to find a way of curtailing the luxuries that we import and the luxuries that we consume. Uh, Thailand rice, they say, is better than abakaleke rice. When our wives go to the market, they want to buy Thailand rice. They will not want to buy abakaleke rice. And what are we trying to do? We are trying to sustain uh, economics of other countries against our own and their uh, employment. Uh, about borrowing. Yes, our economy can afford large sums of borrowing, but how about utilizing the borrowing for the purposes for which they are meant for? The massive infrastructure that we are anticipating is going to be a long-term project and has to be funded by long-term sources of funding. So we must find a way to develop our local long-term funding. One of the ways to do that is to look at insurance policies. Let us look at life insurance policies in this country that will create more stable funding for our banking system who can be able to fund our, uh, our infrastructure and the rest. So government cannot take massive massive financing of infrastructure alone. So we talk about the PPPs, we talk about the concessions. Yes, we have to do them. And we have to do them in an appropriate way, not the way it is being done today. Uh, finally, sir, I want to look at the capital market. Our capital market needs to be looked into in such a way as to develop that 
massive long-term capital infusion into the, do into the domestic economy. Well, since uh, we are going to discuss more on this issue and more on the budget, let me stay here in the meantime because I haven't had enough time, much time to read uh, the document before me. Thank you very much.